Sarah Ansberry here coming to talk to you today a little bit about your basic D, okay, which is used more than anything in pickleball today. And it's actually so much harder than people make it um, or they make it too hard. It's one or the other. Okay, so what I want to talk about today is how to hit a simple dink and the kit keep in that point. Okay, what happens a lot okay, is people trying to do too much when they're dinking, so over spinning or trying to kind of be fancy and doing something special with the ball. You can't get enough of that basic dink. Okay, what I'm talking about with being a basic dink, not a lot of spin. I'm really working on my placement. Okay, I'm really pushing where that ball is. Okay, for me. Okay, and a lot of people have different ways to dink. They've got different grips on the ball. Um, my preference is a basic continental um, on my paddle, which uh, people put it up here, um, and lots of ping pong grips, anything you like. I'm not gonna tell you there's one right or wrong thing to do. I'm gonna tell you my preference and what I'm comfortable with, okay? So I'm comfortable with this nice little continental grip, okay? I can create a spin or I can just hit a basic dink out of this, okay? What I wanna be in is in my happy neutral zone. Okay, where my paddle is up, ready position, so I'm ready to go from one position to the other. The other thing that I want to do is I want to have a nice base with my feet, okay, where I'm mostly on the balls of my feet with my heels slightly up. When I do that, it allows me to shift my weight and reach very far without having to step and go somewhere, okay? So what I want in this position, I want to be able to keep my head up and my back straight. I want my arms away from my body, okay? This happens quite a bit. We tuck our elbows in and we kind of dink and we over it certain. What that does, okay, is it separates our elbow and our wrist and our shoulder, okay? What I want to use the most of is my shoulder, okay? I want this to be a nice, relaxed, loose as I can make it, so I have more control of my shots, okay? When I bend like this, it changes the direction of my paddle, okay? I want to keep it as simple as possible where I have the control as often as I can. What I want to look at is here in my neutral zone, okay? Which is in front of my shoulders, okay? Slightly to the side. Anything in this range, I'm comfortable hitting a dink with, okay? If it's out of my range and I can't reach it, then I'm going to have to move to that ball so that I keep it in my wheelhouse, okay? Which is where I feel most comfortable hitting the ball. Depending on your size um, and your stature, whatever that is, everyone's got a different neutral zone that makes them feel comfortable. For me, I want to feel comfortable reaching, okay, where I either have to let it bounce, okay, or take it in the air. Now, depending on where that ball bounces, it's going to depend on if I take that ball in the air or I let it bounce. If I can, if I can reach the ball, okay, and push through it, and I feel comfortable doing that, I'm going to do that, okay? What I don't want is for a ball to bounce behind my neutral zone, okay? If that ball is going to my neutral zone, I want to take that ball in the air, or I'm going to step backward so I keep the ball in my neutral zone and I can push it forward. Okay? What I think about when I'm dinking is literally a push. All I really want to do is guide that ball forward. I don't need my paddle to do anything crazy. Okay? I just want it as simple as I can. The ball is going to go wherever my paddle is pointing. Okay? When I'm hitting a nice, no pace, simple dink, my paddle is straight down, and all I'm really doing is pushing it forward, okay? And you can reach that anywhere, okay? If I'm hitting on my backhand side, I'm going to have a little bit of a V shape with my wrist and my paddle, so I'm still able to keep my paddle as flat as possible, okay? Any type of chopping or moving is going to pop that ball a little bit too high or a little bit down in the net, and I want to get that consistency where it's over the net, not too high and obviously not too low. I want to get that right there in that zone where it's going to fall short enough where I'm going to make my opponent do the work, okay? So I'm going to show you a few thinking here where um, I'm going to go down the line and cross court and some things you can do to practice that. Uh, down the line, which basically means right in front of you, okay? Um, it's one of the harder ways to dig. We use it a lot in mixed doubles too. Um, it's the higher part of the net. So we really want to make sure that when we're doing this, we're, we're really getting focused on the ball and we're kind of willing to be in a point for as long as possible. Every time I get to a deep rally, I'm going to assume I'm going to hit 30 balls, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm going to get this position, my partner's going here on the side, and all we're going to do is get, keep the ball in front, okay? And back into my neutral zone, into ready position, okay? So I keep that control as much as I can. And I'm not doing a lot with my elbow, okay? I'm not even doing a lot with my paddle. I'm really 
basically just pushing that ball and guiding it. Staying in a position where I'm comfortable. Okay. What I want to be careful of is this. Okay. I see that a lot of people put their head down. Okay. Then you kind of lose it. What I really want is my shoulders back. Okay. I want my butt down. I want to be able to be loose. Okay. Doesn't have to be crazy. I want to go wherever that ball is going. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do is work on moving sideways. Okay. When we're going sideways, my partner and I are just going to go across that kitchen line. I'm keeping my paddle in front of me and my neutral zone. Okay. Anything in my reach, I'm going to be nice and controlled. And I'm not going to overreact if something comes out. That's the hardest part is when something comes out of our reach, we kind of overreact. And we can't. What we want is a nice, even tempo. I want to feel in control. Okay? And all I'm really doing is a nice breathing. Ideally, if I can exhale, every time I make contact with the ball, it's going to naturally relax my body. As much as I can do that, the better. I feel in so much more control when I do that. Going crossward really isn't that much different, but you have to recognize that you're going a longer distance, okay? So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna push a little bit farther out with my shoulder. You notice my paddle is staying in the same position. I'm not over swinging, okay? A lot of times in that cross court, people try to create this giant angle. It's not necessary, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna pick a spot, okay? Usually around where my partner's feet are, okay? Wherever that is, I want to go after it over and over so I can hit it 10 times in a row, okay? Anytime, I'm just carrying the ball on my paddle. That's it. I'm breathing. And I'm in control. Now I'm going to keep that ball in front of me all the time. One of the harder things to do on this side is hit this backhand that can end up behind you quite a bit. The habit for a lot of people is to step back and pull off that line. As much as possible, you really just want to connect with the ball in front of your body. Okay? I don't have to overswing, I don't have to do a lot, but I want to make sure that I keep that ball and that paddle in front of me at all times. Once that ball gets behind me and I'm in trouble, well then I'm out of my neutral zone and I'm into a defensive position. Okay? I always, always want to feel in control. Okay? And so I'm going to keep doing that. My wrist is nice and steady. I'm not doing anything unnecessary. Okay. Personally, I hit with one hand. I push it with my shoulder. I'm keeping my shoulders even. Okay. My knees are staying down. Okay. It doesn't have to be super hard, it doesn't have to be super fast, okay? There are times when you make it harder, there are times when you can use more spin, but just today we're talking about the nice basic dink, which can build an entire game off of, okay? There's no need to start trying to slice it or spin it until you really master that perfect basic dink, okay? Once you do that, then we'll work on some other ways of hitting that ball, some trick shots maybe, or whatever you want to do. But until then, this is what you want to work on and get super focused on, okay?